Ali Ash are going to be on the sofa for the very last time. Don't, can't deal with it. Uh, but first, the sound of silence spoke volumes on Saturday night when Rose and Gio took to the ballroom and moved us all to tears with their euphoric couple's choice. Let's have a little reminder of how they got on. This was so special. Sometimes it's more than scores and dancing. Sometimes it's just a moment. This is a number that will be etched in my heart for a long, long time. It was absolutely beautiful. Fab you lust. Here's Rose and Gio. <laughs> All I can say is, Wow. Uh, it was... I, there was no words to describe how that dance came across on Saturday night. It was so beautiful. How did you feel it went? I feel it was a special dance because it showed the messages that I wanted to show and we did achieve that. We did achieve that for you. We did achieve that. It yeah. was so special, not only for you, but for the deaf community as a whole. Yeah. And so many messages were coming through. I was looking at them all on social media on Saturday night. How important was it for you to share a part of your world with us? Because it's not very often that we get the chance to show our world on a massive platform yeah. on a TV like this. Mm. So I felt like I wanted to tell our story and our message because it's positive and a lot of people, like, when they find out their child is deaf, they think the world crush, but it shouldn't be. No. It's so positive. Like being deaf is a gift. It was beautiful. It was so beautiful to watch. And actually, you two, Secret Squirrel, mm -hmm. you didn't tell anyone this was going to happen, did you? No, no we didn't. It was, a, it was a secret because um, it was such a, as you said, it was a, such a special moment that, um, you know, I had this idea and... Um, I ask first of all, I ask if, if she was um, agree with me to do something like this during mm. the dance. Obviously, I can't just go and do something like this because it's very important. It's me walking Rose yeah. in Rose World, and uh, she actually, you know, said it's a fantastic idea. Um, so I'm very, very pr proud and privileged that you know you give me a chance to be to come in your world and um, and me able to share the, the story that you know that 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 is a positive positive story. It really and, is, and it was a positive outcome yeah. as well because yeah. the judges ate it all up. Anton went as far as saying it was the greatest thing he'd ever seen on Stringer. <laughs> I mean, Rose, come on! Yeah. I can be. I have the best <laughs> lovely thing to say. Oh. But the thing, the thing is, as I mostly said, and I said as well, sometimes it's not about the scores, you know, Ryan. You know, you get 26, 39, 40, 50, whatever it is. Yeah. It's more about... When did you get a 50? Leave <laughs> it out, Gio. <laughs> 50, I did. Pick yourself up. <laughs> but, you know, it's just, you know, it's just um, the, the message that you want to send. Sometimes you have to do a dance that leave you a, 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 a statement, something. And I'm very proud that we achieved that because we received so many messages and hopefully, um, you know, we're sparring, especially her as a role model, because she always says she's a role model. She's inspiring a lot of other, uh, other deaf kids to, 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 you know, to dream to be able one day to be on Strictly or yeah. be an actor or do anything. So it it's the any most job. important thing. It could be anything. Anything. Could be anything. It really, really yeah. could. And I just want to say from my own personal point of view, that silence just spoke volumes mm. to so many people. It really, really did. And it was so gorgeous. So many people got in touch as well with the show. Uh, Nadine tweeted, hi, Nadine. Uh, following Rose's journey on Strictly, who is just a legendary. But tonight, when the music stopped midway of their dance and they kept going, that was mine and every deaf people's stories being told on the stage. Rose made us feel represented. Thank you. I mean, my best friend. Is that your best friend? Yeah. Oh, no, no wonder they're tweeting. <laughs> <laughs> there was me. Very small. It's very small. Very small world, the deaf world. Well, big hello to Nadim and thank you so much for your tweet. Nadim. Thank you. That's his fine name, Nadim. Uh, Nadim. 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 Well, thank you, Nadim. Uh, and in honour of your incredible Couples Choice dance, we have come up with a little game and it is conveniently called Couples Choice. Oh! 
Right, there we go. I've even got a little leg out. Yeah. Right, now this game is going to prove just how well Rose and Gio know each other. And the rules are very simple, guys. Mm -hmm. You each have a paper and a pen. And I'm going to read out a question that relates to one of you. Okay. And you need to write down what you think is the correct answer. This is nothing like any other game show on TV. Don't sue us, all right? <laughs> okay. okay. Please. If you get all of the questions correct, you are going to win a state-of-the-art couple's choice trophy. That okay. is modelled on me. It's modelled on me. <laughs> the one on the left. Yeah, the one on them, the left. Yeah. Uh, now, Rose, your answers have to match, OK, to okay. get the point. So good luck. OK. Here's your first the one. Score's okay. Rose, if you had to choose your least favourite dance of the series, what would it be? Easy. Least can, I, dance. can I write this one in the none? Yeah, you both got to write. That's the point of the show, Gio. OK, fine. Let's say easy peasy. OK, let's reveal those answers. Ready? Ready? Ready go. Cha cha cha, that's yeah, a point! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Cha, cha, cha. Give it to me. Well done. Second question. Go on. Gio, if you had to choose Rose's most annoying habit, what would it be? Ho oh, ho ho ho, it's where it all changes, mm. guys. This is where it all changes. Most annoying habit. Are we ready? Okay, let's reveal those answers. That's, this, yeah. It, the tunnel. Tunnel. Still... Yeah, you say walk away, she goes in the tunnel. It's the same thing. So basically, when the steps is wrong, it, it's difficult. She just walk away from the from the position. Do you know what? I've got no idea what you're talking about, yeah, but right. I like the accent. We'll give the point. We'll give the point. We call it the tunnel. We'll, we'll call the tunnel. it the tunnel. I'm happy. Okay, Rose. Question three. If you had to choose a different professional partner to dance with, who would you have chosen? It's this one, I'll tell you now. I think it could be this yeah, one. That's it. it was Ali <laughs> as well done! Well, listen, that is the end of the game, and I'm pleased three to three. say... Three out of three, yeah. you've won the show! Yeah. Oh, there it is. I've just found out. Actually, we threw it out in the skip, so you won't be winning that trophy. Oh, fine, right, but at least you had a nice trophy. time. It's okay. No, no, no trophy, it's darling. Okay. You get the glitter ball. But listen, darling, you're an East Ender star. It don't matter. There you go. Boom. I mean, won't you that trophy? Yeah, all right, I'll make you another one. She's so demanding. Okay. Never mind. Okay, listen. <laughs> I can't let you go without talking about. You're going to be doing another dance. Yeah. It's musicals week this week. You're going to be doing a quick step to "Love Is an Open Door" from Frozen. It goes like this. Love is an open door. Oh, that, I mean, he's got all the hits. He's got all yes! The... Are we happy voice. with this song choice? Well, yeah, I mean, Frozen fan. I made that watch yesterday, Frozen, because they need to get to the character. Film. Yeah, I haven't watched it for quite a long time, but I watched the film and I love Anna. Yeah, well, she's well that's you now. Yeah, yeah. that's Anna. I, I feel like I could relate a lot of my real life to Anna. So do you think you are going to make the perfect Princess Anna? I think I'd be better at Anna yeah. than... Uh, <laughs> The Elsa, the yeah. Elsa. The, yeah. Then Elsa. I'm more yeah. Anna, then. Yeah. You're definitely more Elsa. It's only day one of training, though, Gio. Yeah. How are we finding the quick good. step? Good, good. You're happy? Yeah, very, very. It's a ballroom dance, you know, she's quite good at ballroom. Yeah. Um, it's quick step. It's quick. The, the difficult, There's a lot of steps. <laughs> yeah, but the difficult with quick step is because um, th because there's so much steps. Obviously, usually when we do Latin and this is steps, she really lit me. When it's ballroom and she's got this way, when it's slow, you can follow me. But because it's quick step, sometimes we, at the moment, we go out of um, synchronization. Yeah. So I jump and she doesn't jump with me. I just got to go. Because just obviously, bounce yeah. along. Yeah. But yeah. It's band, yeah, we need just to focus on the synchronization, but we will be all right. Well, I cannot wait to see it. And Rose, I know it's your birthday on Wednesday. So I just want to say, and I hope I do this right, happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy there we birthday. go. For Wednesday, we love you lots. It is Rose and Gio. Thank you. Good luck. Uh, now, you might have seen a big yellow bear called Pudsy. I'm not really familiar with him popping up around your local area lately. Uh, but that is because Children in Need is happening this Friday on BBC One. And we want all of our Strictly viewers to get involved. So here is my fabulous television wife and Pudsy's number one fan, Jeanette.